There are a lot of layers to this. It's almost too conceptual to follow, but I love it. Beauty and the Beast, directed by Bill Condon, is the latest retelling of the classic French fairy tale wherein Belle falls in love with the Beast. But rather than draw inspiration from the original text, this film draws heavily both narratively and visually from the 1991 Disney animated film. In this way, the film runs the risk of redundancy, but thankfully it offers a few fresh takes on the classic tale that shake off potential worries that this is just another Disney cash grab. Emma Watson was a good fit for what they were trying to do with Belle here, leveraging her image in the youth culture to highlight the feminist aspects of the character. Though at times it comes across as heavy-handed, you look past it because it's not only a positive experience for the younger audience who may not have seen the animated film, but also a solid entry amongst feminist media. Dan Stevens is the Beast did well working with motion capture, I thought. I found the Beast's design to be striking and well animated, even though sometimes you could see it slip up close. As for the Beast himself, he came across as underdeveloped, and only really acted as a totem pole for the themes of excessive vanity and interpersonal depth that the story is known for, rather than just being a character in his own right. But what they did for this character, and for Belle, made for a decent explanation as to why these two would be attracted to one another. So good job. Luke Evans as Gaston was by far the best character. Very over the top, but a lot of fun to watch. I will say that they made him more villainous in this picture. Touching on ideas of xenophobia, rather than keeping him the handsome Disney prince archetype who thinks he's just doing the right thing, this makes it a little more clear cut for the younger audience, and Evans does well with the material. Now, I'm not much of a musicals guy myself, but I will say that while most, if not all, of the songs that appear here are also in the animated film, what was delivered in this Beauty and the Beast was done with spirit and gusto. Everyone stayed on key, and I didn't notice any auto-tune or digital fiddling in post, so that's good. And what better way to communicate how a character feels than in song? What you get with Beauty and the Beast is unfortunately nothing new, but it acts as a great morality tale for young people. It's enjoyable to see unfold on screen, and undoubtedly will make for a very profitable entry to the Mouse House Pantheon. Because, as we all know... I can't see.